So we're going to exit out of the browser. Okay. All right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to go to a paint program. It's very simple, very easy. Not much to it. All right. So the program I have here is Adobe Photoshop. You guys who don't have Adobe Photoshop, you can use your basic um, paint program that comes with your operating system. For you Windows user, you have MS Paint. To access that, hit the start menu. And then from the start menu, you go to accessories. And from accessories, you'll find MS Paint. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to take the sprite sheet, upload it into our paint program. And we're going to go to this tool right here called the crop tool. Now the crop tool, what it does is it cuts the image to whatever proportion that you want it in. So we're going to use this image. Where I use fighting stance. You take it, you hold the left click, and you scroll to whatever length of whatever the sprite frame is, you know is located at. You let it go, and now you see that the sprite um, image is highlighted. What you do is now you take your arrow and you double click on the highlighted image. And there you go. You have right here a single image frame. Now I know you guys are getting scared at oh no, where is now where can I find my um my sprite sheet? It disappeared. Don't panic. Don't panic at all. Before we do that, we want to save the image as. You can either save them as two files, but I recommend in order to upload the image into Fighter Factory, it accepts two different image files, which is a BMP file aka bitmap file and you have a PCX file aka ZSOL file now in order to upload them onto Fighter Factory you save it as a PCX file but if you're trying to edit a pilot or create your own pilot you can either save, save it as a BMP or a PCX file but to upload them remember save it as a PCX file so what we're going to do is we're going to go to file we're going to save it as and then after that you go to format style and you choose it you got BMP right here and you got PCX save it as a PCX which I have already done now we move on to the next step oh before we move on to the next step I forgot um, you guys want your image back in order to get your image back from your sprite sheet you go to edit and you go to undo crop or you you go to undo or step backwards so we're gonna undo the crop and there you go the crop tool is pretty simple it's not hard you can just take each image, just follow the same process. You take it and you just keep cutting them one by one, one by one. And you just undo the crop and you keep saving them as PCX files. And there's another simple way you can do it too. You can even highlight a whole row and you can just crop them like that too and break them down. And this is for not just Mujin, you can use it for, for making banners, wallpapers, or you know, whatever your hobby is. It's a lot easier. Than just doing everything manually by erasing around the character and everything. So you just don't need MS Paint or Adobe Photoshop. For a lot of advanced um, Photoshop users, you got Paint Shop Pro, eight, nine, etc., and you got Graphics Gale as well. So next, we're gonna go to Fighter Factory. Simple, very simple. It doesn't it doesn't take a lot of work. It's not it's not even rocket science either. So, when you open it, it takes you to this first page right here. What we're going to do is, we're going to go to the Sprite icon. You click on Sprites, and then what you do next is, we're going to go over to this icon called PCX. It's a piece of paper. On the PCX, it has the, it has the word highlighted add. What we're going to do is, we're going to add the Sprite. That's what we're going to do. We're going to add the Sprite. So, we hit PCX, and... If you have it saved as a PCX, it's automatically going to show up on your image file. You bruise it, you find it, and there you go. Now, where it says group access and everything, don't worry about that. That's going to be for another tutorial on how to create your own pilot. And yes, that's right. I'm going to remake how to create a character. It's going to be how to create a motion character 
So I want you guys to stay tuned to that because it's a lot of things I left out. A lot of people had questions and I went to ask questions to a lot of um, character creators and they told me that I left a few things out and to, you know, just go back and redo it so everybody get a clearer picture. So stay tuned to that. All right. So after that, we're going to hit OK. You hit OK. And your sprite is added. Hit OK again. And right here on your side. You have one out of three because remember like I said I uploaded it before so um, where it says one out of three that means is is one out of three sprites that's uploaded so to find the image that you uploaded you just hit the arrow over to the right and bam there he is there's Ryu Ryu's right there and this is basically it for this tutorial on how to upload your sprite onto fighter factory I want you to remember you have to save the sprite as a PCX file. Other than that, it will not upload onto Fighter Factory. Okay, there you have it. That was the end of our sprite uploader tutorial part of the character creation series. Now, I want you guys to note that I don't know everything. And I'm not aware of everything that goes on, especially when it comes to creating characters. So, if there are a lot of you character creators out there and authors out there, if you feel as though that I left a few steps or if you feel as though that there was something that I was missing, upload it or let me know what I've missed and I will repost another video or I will put in the description box for other people who are part of the movie community to know what I left out. Or if most of you guys who are watching my videos and is learning and discover something that I have left out or have forgotten, you guys can enlighten me and I will upload my newest video with the newest information that you guys had let me know and of course I will give you guys credit for the work that you have shared with me. This is Mujin Lord, signing out.